Hello and welcome back, back after quite a break and I have some exciting news to share with you. First of all, AGR 4.0.0 version is ready. It's waiting for Epic's review uh, to hit the marketplace. So within the next uh, few days, I hope, you should get your hands on the newest installation of our AGR Pro plugin. And with it comes uh, many improvements of uh, components that we already introduced, uh, great fixes to all features of the inventory and equipment system, uh, and also one new member of the family. So now to any actor that you have, you can add a new AGR component. This new AGR component is called AGR Combat Manager. And this command manager for now does only one thing, but we're going to uh, improve on it and add more functionalities to it. So if I drag it here into the scene, I have some functions under the AGR type. And I also got some events. That's actually quite a lot of events. But let's talk about those functions that we have uh, right now. So uh, first and most important functions are the add trace mesh. And there should be a remove trace mesh or something similar it's um, yeah remove trace mesh and there's also a function clear trace meshes so the most important functionality of the combat component is what my combat component in blueprint tutorial did which is a very precise tracing on milli objects in now different types of uh, way. Previously, it was just doing horizontal uh, line traces, but now you have uh, five options as for now. So there's a simple line trace, simple box trace, simple capsule, complex line trace, and complex box trace. I'm going to showcase all of those uh, within a moment. So you have a function that registers a mesh, and this mesh is a primitive component, which means that you can add any well, any static mesh, any skeletal mesh, or any shape. So it can be just, um, uh, you know, just, a, um, for example, box. You can just have a box collision and use it uh, as is, as a mesh collider. So it registers mesh colliders. It can remove mesh colliders from um, an array of those, and it can clear all meshes that are being traced by the same time. Other functions comes with getting all weapons, which getting actually an array of actor object references. So here we register meshes, but those meshes uh, are part of an actor. And we assume that this actor is a weapon. So even if we have a mesh inside this actor, that means that our character as a whole is a weapon. So whatever we want to fetch from it, we can get uh, directly from here. Then we have functions like uh, start trace and end trace. And those functions can be called through a uh, uh, animation notification state that is already introduced with the plugin, uh, which is called, uh, I think, AGR uh, combat state. And it just starts and ends traces on all meshes that we have registered in our combat component. And then if you go here, you have also refresh ignore targets. Ignore targets are being refreshed automatically or ignore targets are your um, owner of the weapon and all actors that are attached to it. But if you need to, you can always just get uh, variables and you have ignore targets and you can just add or remove some extra uh, targets to it whenever you need to refresh um, uh, you know handle collision but you can do a secondary refresh of collision after you actually hit uh, objects and simply do nothing with the hit that you register so you can go here what else do we have uh, refresh, remove trace mesh, and just the, the debug node that says debug is true or false, but you can also just put it here and say true or false, and you have two trace colors, just like in the animation master component. Within setup, you set up the name 
of sockets that you are using within your weapons and all weapons need to use the same socket naming for this component to work so in my example just start and end then you pick the trace channel for all traces it can be any channel that you want and then you uh, check if you want to trace complex and there's then trace precision and trace size and those two i'm going to talk about in specific when we start tutorial on the combat component uh, so yeah, this addition is super performant, uh, I think pretty well thought, and it works absolutely amazing with, um, with inventory and equipment system that we already have in place. So I will be still using this uh, template as a start off for the combat showcase because I before I jumped into any other uh, tutorials mini-series. I also wanted to say that this component got a few events. You have on start attack and you have on end attack and those uh, triggers when your traces start and ends and it of course starts before any trace is being done and it stops after the last trace are being done. Uh, after that you have Mm, the most important event which is on attack hit uh, event which gives you um, the mesh that is doing the hit and from this mesh you can always get uh, owner of this component which is actually the actor that uh, that this weapon mesh is part of so if you need to for example read damage values or check critical uh, hit chance or something like that, you can do it here. And here you have a standard hit event, which means that you can read all values of the hit event because those are, um, well, it uses hit events. So you have all information about the impact point, uh, about the normal of the impact point and physics material, actor that got hit, component, bone name, you name it. So, yeah, and you can then uh, check, for example, if this hit actor has tag, I don't know, let's say enemy. And if it doesn't have tag enemy, then you might not want to deal damage to it, but it does have this tag enemy, then you want to uh, apply damage or even apply point damage because you have the hit event uh, into this, uh, this actor that you have here. And you also get this, so you know what is the damage causer, and uh, you know that the instigator is the controller of this pounce. You can just get controller, and it's super easy to set up really precise uh, traces and hits with this plugin. I can't wait to show you how it works. So see you in the next episode when we do the first weapon setup.